Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Or it might be afternoon, so good afternoon. <laughs> whatever day it is, whatever we, time, whatever day. It is great to see you. Not long to go now. Not many days until the summer holidays. Woo, woo, woo. Who's excited? Thank you. Yep, I'm excited. Two hands up. You two hands. Well, yeah, I'm definitely excited. I can't wait. Um, Barry, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. Thank you very much. It's um, feeling good. Uh, watched the football last night. Oh, it was a shame, wasn't it? But we still played really good. They so, played amazingly. Fantastic. Some of those Italian players didn't play so nicely, did they? But the Oh, the Italians know. were a little bit naughty. They were a bit naughty, weren't they? They were. But they were a brilliant team. And when you, I can't believe that some of our players were only like 19, 20, 21. Like, I mean, obviously, similar age to me. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I've got, do you know what? I think I've got socks older than some of those players. <laughs> Have you been wearing them for that long? <laughs> well, I don't think, well, maybe about 17 years. Um but yeah, 19, one of those players 19 years old. That's like, if you're in year six, that's like only eight years older than you. That's just incredible. Wow. Play that for is England. amazing. Wow. Who knows? We might have a future England player in year six. Oh, we might. We might, yeah. Men's football or women's football could be yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? Someone was looking at the stats the other day and actually the ladies have done better in football and rugby and cricket, I think, than uh, than the men. So, yeah. Well, there we go. Well, yeah. if it is you and you do make it to the big time, remember us too. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's been a fun weekend, hasn't it? And um uh, we went to Paulton's at the weekend, which was great fun. Always loved the roller coasters and stuff. Or well, they did feel quite sick doing the new Storm Chaser twice, one after another. Um, did you have a lot of biscuits beforehand? No, that's just now I've eaten a load of biscuits. <laughs> Mentioned food again. <laughs> we did. Do you know um, what? Actually, I was going to say I may have jinxed the football last night because I made I made pizzas to eat while we watched the football. So I had Italian food while we watched the football. Maybe it was my fault. Well, it's all Barry's fault, so let's just kick him out, shall we? That's how rude, outrageous, having Italian food while England's playing Italy. We'll let you back in. Oh, we swap sides now. Hello. Oh, that's interesting. We are thinking today about uh, this continued theme about creativity. And um, we've been speaking over the last few weeks, haven't we, about how God is so creative, he made the world. He made each one of us. Last week, Gary brought Barry. Barry, not <laughs> Barry. Sorry, Barry brought along a cow. I did. Well, was a I, ten, one today, have you? I don't. I don't have. I don't have the cow today. No, no I do problem. have a baby. That's okay, do. I do have a baby here. Look, I've got. I've got baby Groot. Um, oh, there you go. Sweet. Um. <laughs> So we were talking last week about how God made each one of us and that each one of us unique. And we talked about things like our fingerprint. Can't even see that, can you? How they're all different. There you go. Who spotted the difference there between our fingerprints? Um, God knows our differences between our fingerprints because he made us. Um, but we're thinking about the Bible today and we're thinking about some of the creative people in the Bible. But I wonder, Barry... Can you think yeah. of who your the most creative person is that you can think of? I wonder if everyone else, you guys can think of who is the most creative person. Maybe you know or you've seen some of their creations. Have a few moments. Well, I think let's have 30 seconds. Talk to the person near you and then we'll come back. Barry, I'm giving you 30 seconds to think of the most creative person okay. you can think of. Okay. Okay, have you managed to think up someone, Barry? I thought of someone, yeah. 
So there is a program. I'm not sure if it's still on or not, uh, but there was a program used to be called Art Attack. And there was a man. I was in black and white, wasn't it, when you were <laughs> younger? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. There's a program called Art Attack on ITV. And uh, there's a man called uh, Neil B uh, Buchanan who used to host and do loads of creative art stuff. But he would do uh, he would do big art attacks as well. So he would go out yeah. um, in like a car park or somewhere and make things out of rubbish or cloves or whatever things he could find. And they would have a top down camera that would show it. And um, it was amazing. And I think um, uh, there was there was art programs before him that I used to enjoy and used to watch. Um, they might have been on black and white. Tony Hart, wasn't he? Tony Hart, there? yeah, Heart Attack. That was uh, that was called. Uh, that was um, uh, that and Take Heart. And they used to have the gallery. I sent a picture into the gallery once, but it was never shown. Uh, but yeah, so watching those guys, um, you would inspire me and i think those really helped me get into sort of uh the art and stuff that i used to do. so i went to college and university and did uh graphic design and art there so um, i think they inspired me to get uh to get crafty i think how about you well um i was just thinking uh art attack, we get mr maker now with his mr oh, maker mobile yeah. and he goes around and does similar things so it's quite if you've watched mr baker art attack is very similar to that um do you know someone, Barry, called Henry Fraser? Henry Fraser. I don't think I do. Well, this young man, he's not very old. Um, he's younger than me anyway. And he um, was with his friends. He went away on holiday when he was 18. And uh, he decided to go and do something very normal. He ran down into the, the sea from the beach. He just ran along the beach. And as he dived forwards, he dived a bit deep. And he damaged his neck and it meant that he was unable to move his arms, his legs, rest of his body. He became paralyzed from the neck down. And uh, obviously it was really hard, really challenging. But And he used to love art beforehand. Um, but obviously he couldn't do art in the normal way. Uh, and then uh, he has developed the skill of being able to paint again using his mouth. Wow. And he has created loads of different art, but one of them is this one here. The blue oh, giraffe. Wow. Can you believe that? He made that he with that. his mouth. He painted that with his mouth. That's incredible. I mean, I struggle to eat with my mouth and not end up with food everywhere. Um, <laughs> but he manages to paint with his mouth. I mean, that is so incredible. Yeah. Wow. That is inspirational. It is really inspirational. But there's loads of creative people when we look through the Bible. And it's not just art, uh, you know, and making stuff, painting and that kind of thing. I know we've just spoken about those two as an example, but there's loads of other people in the Bible. For example, there's someone called David. Now, you might know him as King David, but he uh, was a shepherd when he started out. And he went and fought Goliath. If you remember that story, you may have heard David and Goliath. And he didn't fight him with a sword uh, or any of that. Instead, he was creative. He used what he had in his hands, and that was a slingshot or a catapult. Uh, and he found five smooth stones, just ordinary smooth stones off the floor. And he fired it, and it hit Goliath right in the head, and Goliath fell down and died, which is sad. But Goliath had been a really bad person and he was being uh, really mean to all of the Israelites all of God's people uh, and uh, he was a giant and so uh, just this one stone one smooth ordinary stone used creatively hit him in the head and he fell down and died and then the Israelites won and eventually David became king but when David was king he's also really well known for another creative side and that is he wrote lots and lots of um the things in the book of psalms they're, they're either songs or poems uh, things where he's just really honest before God uses his words to say to God how he feels uh, and what he thinks uh, about God or about the situations he's going through uh, and uh, I love the book of Psalms and maybe you've read some of the Psalms before one of them really famous ones is called the Lord is my shepherd it talks about how uh, he's our shepherd he guides us um, through green fields he leads us to quiet pools of clear water he refreshes us 
He gives us strength when we're weary. He he helps us go through really dark times. It says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil for you are with me. That is something that David wrote thousands of years ago. And uh, we read today and it still brings us encouragement and reminds us of God's promise that he is always with us. So David, in my mind, is one of the really creative characters in the Bible. Barry. What do yeah. you want to tell us about, about the Bible? Well, I have a story talking oh, about, actually, talking about talents. Uh, and this is, um, uh, this is a story in the New Testament. And uh, it's all about money, this one, and, and how uh, these guys were given uh, set amounts of money to see how well they would, uh, they would use it and what they would, what they would do with it. And... Um, it's from the Lion Storyteller Bible by Bob Hartman, and it goes a little bit like this. Big bags of money. Here is another story that Jesus told. Once there was a man with money, mounds of money, mountains of money. In fact, more money than you could ever imagine. Now, one day the man decided to take a long trip. So he called three of his servants together and told them what he wanted them to do with his money while he was gone. Well, the first servant was the hardest worker of them all. So the man said to him, here are five big bags of my money. Use them wisely and we'll see how well you've done when I return. Well, a second servant was a hard worker too. So the man said to him, here are two big bags of my money. Use them wisely and we'll see how well you've done when I return. But the third servant was not a hard worker at all. In fact, he was rather lazy. So the man gave him just one big bag of money. Use it wisely, he said. We'll see how well you've done when I return. So the man with the money went away and after a long, long time, he came back again. Tell me, he said to the first servant, how did you get on? What did you do with my money? You gave me five big bags of money, said the first servant, and I put them to work. I used them to do lots of good things. And look, I made five big bags of money. Ten bags altogether, exclaimed the man with the money. Well, well done. You showed me I could trust you. And now I have much bigger things for you to do. And what about you? Said the man with money to the second servant. How did you get on? What did you do with my money? Well, you gave me two big bags of money, said the second servant. And I put them to work as well. I used them to do lots of good things. And look, I made two more big bags of money, four bags altogether, exclaimed the man with the money. Excellent. And now I have a better job for you as well. Finally, the man with money turned to the third servant. And how did you get on, he asked. The third servant hummed and hawed and looked at his feet. Well, sir, he said. I know how much you like your money and how disappointed you'd be if I lost it. So I dug a hole and buried it in the ground. You gave me one big bag of money. So here is your great big bag of money back. The man with the money was furious. Don't blame this on me, he shouted. I gave you that money to use, to put to work so that you could make more. And you just couldn't be bothered. Stuck it in a hole. If you'd taken the time to stick it in the bank, it would have at least made a little interest. Get out of my sight, you lazy man. You're sacked. And he took that servant's big bag of money and gave it to the first servant. So off they went. The man with the money and his two hardworking servants off to bigger and better things. And the third servant, well, he walked away sadly in search of another job. Fantastic. Thanks, Barry. 
Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? That the, the fact that they were given uh, that they had uh, the the money that was given to them. It was called a, it was called a talent uh, then. So they were given that money, and it was you no. Know, we we have talents. We have things that we could do. Mm -hmm. Should we should we just keep them to ourselves? Should, like the man who just buried them in a hole, or should we actually put them out if we can? do art we should show the world our art we should be creative in 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 how we use our talents if we're uh if we're good at baking then let's not just bake for ourselves i mean we'd get a little bit fat if we did that i mean maybe we should invite people around or give cakes to other people and share that creativeness that we that we have that god has given us so we've all got talents, we've all got gifts, and we should use them uh, creatively to help others uh, and to to really show the glory to God, to say, God, you're so amazing that you've given me these skills and these talents. Yeah, yeah. Like those England football players yesterday, they have been given that gift, that talent of how to play football. And actually, yesterday, how many millions of people were brought together watching that team and although we might have lost we were all cheering on the same thing we were all brought together seeing yeah. these amazing guys families were brought together watching it friends were brought together watching it it was amazing just because there was uh well 22 players on a football pitch playing football how many millions of people were affected by that Amazing, indeed. Yeah, totally right. And so we can use our gifts and our skills and our talents creatively for God. Uh, and that's the sort of thing we want to be thinking about. So we've been thinking a lot over the last few weeks, haven't we, about uh, the different gifts we have, what makes us unique. Um, we talked about the gifts that uh, God gives us as well. Can you remember what those are, Barry? Yes, I can. I think I've finally remembered it. So we've got love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness and self-control one more oh is there love joy love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control gentleness you missed gentleness well done oh, ah. yeah. <laughs> well done you got them right round of applause to yeah. you fantastic yeah. <laughs> see i'm being honest i'm being honest but i you really were creative you used all. your phone to google it rather I than did. You know, mess up in front of everyone. Yeah, it's I okay, Barry. We'll let you off. Naughtiness. You've got one more chance next week for collective worship to see if you can remember all nine of the fruit of the spirit, the gifts that God gives us. I'm going to say a prayer as we finish, but let's think about how we can use our creative skills uh, creatively for God and to show how good God is and how good He is because He's made each one of us and given us those things. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for the examples of people in the Bible who have used their gifts and their skills creatively for you, whether that was David in writing lots of songs and poems uh, or picking up the stones and using them uh, to defeat the giant, or whether that's uh, those uh, football players who've used the skills and talents they've honed through training to bring glory and honour uh, to you, many of whom uh, believe in you and bring their honour and glory to you. Uh, or countless other people, Lord, who use their gifts and skills. May you help each one of us this week to think about our skills, our gifts, the things that we can do, and to use those creatively to bring glory to your name and to show others how great and brilliant you are, God. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Take care, have a fantastic week, and we'll see you soon. See you later, guys. Bye.